Welcome back, people. I'm so glad you can join me again. So today we've got American Soldiers. Um, this is the second time recording this, so the first time I did it, uh, I ran out of space on the, uh, the old memory card and my camera, so I have to start again. I hate it when that happens, honestly, do. Well, hey, where am I? American Soldiers uh, is about a whole day in Iraq. Uh, Baghdad is it is. Uh, no, dang, ba <laughs> Downtown Baghdad. Bit of a mouthful for me to say this uh, again. Repeat myself. Um, but it was a very good film, actually. It's basically about a group of soldiers, US soldiers, American soldiers, whatever you want to call them. Uh, just come out of boot camp, gone to Iraq, you know, set up camp. And uh, they get sent on a little sort of sortie. A little uh, scouting uh, mission or a little scouting outing about, you know, Take a picnic with them, a few glasses of beer, that sort of idea. And they've got their Humvees and their big guns on top, and they've got the what, four, four vehicles, three vehicles, some of that. I can't remember, it's been a little while, so. Iron buckle with your mind, dear. Uh, of course, there's a few soldiers in there as well. Um, along the way, uh, the Iraqi soldiers, the insurgent soldiers, uh, fancy a, a little fight, as it were, a little bit of a scuffle. With the, the US soldiers have been in their land. And uh, being locals like they are, they know all the routes, they know all the way to hiding, they know the terrain, they know where to put the little bombs, the IEDs, etc., um, etc. Et so they know the good places to uh, ambush. And, uh, you know, film goes on a little bit more, and the ambush happens. The insurgents fire down upon the uh, US soldiers, and the US soldiers have to take cover and basically try and survive. And that's the whole film, really. They have to try and survive uh, this ambush. Because rockets going off, guns firing, grenades blowing up, a bit of smoke here and there. Um, and it seems to be a, a quite a good battle, actually. A quite good. It's like a battle, like hundreds of men or anything. It's just a few soldiers um, and a few other Iraqi soldiers. Uh, well, not Iraqi soldiers, but insurgents. And uh, yeah, it just seems to fold out very nicely. Um, the film is actually not a budget as you think it might be uh, for these sort of films. Uh, it's quite a nice budget in this so you've got quite nice recording equipment and the sound effects and the sound equipment all really nice as well so you're not skimping out on anything so you do get a quality film. The cast members uh, really work well with the uh, storyline they're given although it's not the best storyline I've what, uh, heard but it'll do for what, uh, what you're going to watch because the event uh, the baseline is in 2004 and this is a 2005 if I get a right film so a year after the uh, incidents happen which could have been written off as a war a uh, war accident, war scene, war battle um, they actually made a film about it with the uh, 70 survivors of course the way it goes you do get the uh, the main cast, mer cast members uh, survive until the end, and the backing cast sort of get picked off here and there, sort of thing. Somebody's got to go at the end of the day, haven't they? You can't expect everyone to stick around. And uh, basically, what happens? Um, they're like a little ditch on the side, and they're getting shot from people above. And there's like two, if I remember, there's two sides of them or something. I think that's right. And they got basically off trying to fly into the Iraqi soldiers somehow, and um, it doesn't go to plan because they all sort of. Get, it was someone get knocked off again, and uh, the Iraqi soldiers sort of have the upper ground as it were, you know, like I said, being locals and stuff. Um, this film's like uh, 103 ish, 110 minutes, um, so you get yourself a decent bit of episode type, bit, a good bit of watch. Um, if you watch all in one go, if you don't, you can watch them two or three parts, then you sort of might lose track a little bit, being such a slow. Not, not a very good plot sort of thing, maybe not a good storyline, you, you might miss a bit here and there, but it's a, generally a very nice film actually, it's, it, it, it gives you entertainment, it's high explosions, a good bit of action music, it's not too bad, the music has got a nice bit of good score in it, so it's uh, got some writing for it there, and it's, the picture is very nice as well, it's, it, it's a film, it's a film, what more do you want, it's an action film by American film people. So you're gonna get the high everything, can you? Get big explosions. You're gonna get big cast members, but well, not anyone that I know in this anyway. I don't know anyone, so 
no one's labelled up on the front here, so it can't be anyone uh, too big. But it's a very decent film, actually. So uh, let's have a little, little closer look at the actual casing. Uh, not one of the best cases I've seen, but we'll do. So, American Soldiers, A Day in Iraq, directed by Sidney J. Fury. Fury. What started as a routine day became a fight for survival. Yeah, like I said a minute ago, it's not one of the best cases I've seen. It's very, um... Well, they got the, the guys on their... Obviously sat up the guns, I, I'm not sure whether if they're on top of a vehicle or not, or on next to a building, or what, because you got this top, sort of thing here. And got some trees, he's got poking out here, some bushes. I, I, he got some writing. So zoom in more. Oh, I can't really zoom in more. He sort of sees some Iraqi sort of writing across the top here, so I'm not sure what that's meant to signify or where it's at. Maybe it's on the back of a wall. It's very gr sort of grey brown around the outside and very white in the middle. I, I don't get it. It's, but the soldiers look probably done. Yeah, nothing against the soldiers. If I actually pan down, it might help and see what you see. But, uh,. The, the, the uh, text is very nice, so I do like the text on the front here. It's very nice, very simple. But you don't, you don't need anything too much, do you? So you want something to go with something, don't you? Um, yeah, not the most ideal cases, but in, on the side here, it looks quite nice. American soldiers, day in Iraq, very nicely presented. Just very simple. Momentum pictures at the top, 15 at the bottom. So we're in the UK. I'm in the UK. Uh, nothing on the inside. Fire it via the disc, and the disc is not that exciting. Well, it's more exciting than the front cover. Yeah, okay. This is more exciting than the front cover. Because you will see it. There we go. So the Iraqi, Iraqi right in the top. Got some smoke. You got uh, a half track truck of some description. There's some soldiers on the back. Again, you got the palm trees and some shrubs. Brush, wherever it is. Soldier at the bottom of his gun. American soldiers a day in Iraq. Um, on the side here. So, yeah, a nicer disc. Um, same colour as on the front, so yeah, you sort of blended in nicely, I suppose. But yeah, nice quality case, the classic feels quite nice actually. So you're not, again, you're not skipping out on the old quality of casing, it's uh, quite nice done. I just wish the pictures had done a bit nicer. And a little bit busy on the back, but uh, it's generally not too bad. It seems to uh, be alright if the camera actually focused a bit more. I, need, I do need a new camera, but uh, it's a little bit busy. So at the top, camera went just camera over a little bit. There we go. You got some little pictures across the top of people. I don't know why you want that. Well, a lot of people do that for, but someone's shooting a gun. Got a guy looking at the desert. There a guy with a gun. A guy bending down in the desert. And a guy with aiming his gun. And then there's a little bit here. You got the same the disc. A guy with a gun. Uh, Truck with people on the back, some shrub and bushes, got some text, and all the usual sort of things at the bottom, credits and such. But that's how it is to read. It's, uh, that's what we all like to see. You basically get to see what the film was about before buying it. Okay. Uh, Iraq, 2004. During a routine sortie, a US patrol is ambushed, and young soldiers are forced to put their training and skills into action fast. A determined foe with superior local knowledge. The Fedayan insurgents soon draw them into a close quarter combat and desperate, desperate fight for survival. Battered and hopeless, hope, not homeless, hopeless, the devastated and weary soldiers can only find one reason to go on, staying alive at any cost. American soldiers at Dana Iraq captures a stunning and very dramatic view of daily re realities of a unit of American soldiers in a hostile environment of Dang Tang Baghdad and the fierce fighting that now surrounds it. Yeah, it seems to be um, basically what I'm trying to tell you about. It's just basically about fighting Dang, in Bag Dang Tang Baghdad, but not so much of buildings and such, but more of the desert. But the, what they've done in the uh, whole film is very nice and uh, special features. Oh, just noticed the special features kick the tripod a little bit. Special features. Trailer. That's all there is. It's a trailer. Well. And if you fancy joining the Momentum Club, here is a website to go look if you're in the UK. I imagine it'd be something else for America. So. Uh, but, like, reading the um, the credits at the bottom there. 
zoom back in around here. It does say American soldiers at day in Baghdad. So the internet does say uh, American soldiers. It doesn't say a uh, day in Baghdad at all. So I don't know if that was if they changed names somewhere along the line or not, but I'm not too sure. But generally, it's a okay case. It could have done a bit better on the pitch on the front and made it less busy on the back. But uh, as a as a cover, if you if you I suppose they must have used most of the budget in the uh, the actual film, so that bring too much left over the uh, casing. But I don't mind in some ways. The case, the disc is very nice. The casing, the plastic is very good quality. So kind of happy overall. So yeah, not bad in some ways.